All right, guys, uh, I'm Paul. I am a coach at Capital MMA Lorton. Today we're gonna cover some easy functional movements that you can do in your home um, using either a kettlebell or a backpack if you've got one. Uh, today the main movement that we're gonna focus on is the kettlebell swing. Uh, you'll see lots of variations of this all over the internet, most of them bad. Today we're gonna show you how to do it right. Okay, so um, first up, we're gonna discuss how to engage the kettlebell. So there's pretty much two ways that I'm going to uh, engage the kettlebell when I go to work out with it. I'm either gonna be in this position here, which is a kind of a tripod or high pass position, or I'm gonna be standing directly over the kettlebell here. This will be a deadlift position. All right, so showing you this from the side here. It's out in front where I can high pass or directly over the kettlebell. Now, the movement I'm gonna to use to get down and secure the kettlebell and begin my movements is called a hinge. The hinge is very different from a squat. For a squat, my spine is straight and I'm kind of making room for my hips with my knees as they track forward and I go down and up. For a hinge, my spine all still stays straight, but I'm driving my hips backwards. Shins are staying vertical and I'm down here like this, nice and powerful. You'll notice there's no roundness in my spine. I want to keep my spine as straight and rigid as possible. That's going to protect me, make sure so that I don't injure myself. If we're doing this ballistic movement with a round spine, it, it can definitely lead to injury. All right, so first things first, I'm, I'm out here in this tripod position, and uh, or the high pass position, I'm going to go down and secure the bell. Once I get the bell, I'm engaging my lats, staying nice and straight. My weight is in my heels. Okay, I should be able to pick my toes up. All right, from this position, I'm going to hike the kettlebell back and stand up tall. So consecutive swings should look just like this. Then I'm putting the weight back on the mat, nice and easy. You'll notice as I hinge backwards, I'm hinging and this is my down position. To so stand up, all I'm doing, or to bring the bell forward, all I'm doing is standing up. I'm just standing up tall. Then I'm letting the momentum of the weight, or the momentum from my hips, Send the weight out in front of me, right up to about eye height, okay? So again, I'm hinged down, got the weight, drive the weight back, explode with my hips. At the top, my knees, shoulders, and uh, hips should all be lined up nice and straight. All right guys, wanted to address one more thing about the kettlebell swing. The kettlebell swing, like I said before, it's an explosive ballistic movement. Okay, so that means that every time that we go down to pick it up, we're going to go into that pike pass position and explode forward to pick the weight up. What you see oftentimes, and what we never want to do, is just pick the weight up. Okay, check it out guys, nice brown spine, right? Don't want to do that. Pick it up and just go, yeehaw, let's start swinging this way. Okay, that's not right. We're going to protect our spine the whole way. Get all the way down, engage. Our um, lats are nice and tight, spine is straight. Drive back and up. Thanks for listening to my TED Talk. If you're doing, if you're at home and you don't have a kettlebell, you can sub in a backpack. I've got my GR2 here. I've got a 45 pound plate inside. Um, if you don't have a rug plate at your house, fill this up with books that you've never read or whatever else that has mass, okay? We don't want to put things that have metaphorical weight in here, like, you know, your wedding license, overdue tax statement, real weight. Wrap it up, send it out in front of you, same thing. Driving back, standing up tall. It's a little bit different than a kettlebell, but it'll get the job done. Okay, next up, next movement we're going to do is going to be a um, forward lunge. With the forward lunge, I can secure the weight up top like this. I can hold it overhead, or I can just use the straps, put it right on my back. Okay, for this one, we'll just hold here, drop me straight out, and back. We're gonna get into the rep scheme in a moment. Our other movement will be the high pull. Okay, again, you can do this with the, the backpack or a kettlebell. 
I'm here in my hinge position. I'm exploding forward, just pulling the weight up. Using my hips to bring the weight up and down. Next up, be the flutter kick. I'm on my back. Going from the side here. Feet are up, and I'm just going like this. All right guys, bringing it all back together. Um, the final movement in the workout is going to be the bridge and reach. Okay, I'm gonna get on, uh, on my back. Get my feet close to my butt. I'm bridging up onto my shoulder, reaching and touching the mat on the other side. Hips come down, reach, bridge and reach. Going over and touching the mat every time. All right, the workout is going to be kettlebell swing or backpack swing in 60 seconds. It'll be the forward lunge for 60 seconds, the flutter kick for 60 seconds, the high pull, and finishing off with the bridge and reach. 60 seconds each movement. You're gonna do that for 20 minutes, and then you're done. That's it. All right, have a good one. Let me know how it goes.